Good afternoon, good morning, good evening from whenever you're calling in from or watching this recording from how is everyone doing? Good weekend to everyone. I uh, hope we're preparing for the new for the new week. Okay, so um let's go straight to the um activity for today. Now we as you can see on the screen, not much news uh, releases this week. Um silence uh, just seems like um so, uh, Monday it's gonna be a bit slow, Monday and Friday, but you never can tell. Sometimes things will start really moving even even when we don't have high impact news releases. Now there's something that is happening around that uh, I don't know if anyone is watching the news about the trade war between China and the US. So this is something that we have to pay attention to because there's a whole lot of different um, things happening. Tariffs being thrown here and there, the US um, owing China some trillion you know, dollars, which may actually you know, uh, affect um, a whole lot of things if China decides to take that up or against the US. You know, I, I think this is really, um, if I don't know how many of us have really, like I said, really been watching the news or been um, following these uh, things. Um, uh, it stems from when China had this vision, I think in 2015, uh, this Made in China vision. And that's supposed to bring China to become, I would, let me put it in quotes, world power where they are the ones that are dominating the economies, you know, because if you see China, China is everywhere. China is everywhere. China is a very strong, um, strong force when it comes to copying, you know, um, putting their products out there, you know, um, a whole lot of different things, even in terms of manpower. You know, you, I think one of the things that most people enjoy is like they, you can get cheap labor from China, so they have the people. And again, um, they are like, they are communist um, economy, meaning that they control everything, they control the media, they control the people. So it means the the people can really do whatever they want to do, you know. So, uh, so that's why one of the advantage they have compared to the U.S., where um, you know there's uh, democracy, people can speak what their mind and everything. So, I think this kind of influence that China has on their people, their economy, really is what they are um, using to, you know. Again, one thing that they've also done part of that their manifesto is to make sure that every organization, every company, um, they key into the um the 2025 um, agenda vision that china has for the whole the whole country so it means whatever you're doing as a company as an organization it must tie into the 2025 uh, vision so you see that's the kind of power or the influence they have on their citizens uh, the kind that the u.s cannot have you know so it's just to just be just be on the lookout, just keep playing, just keep I mean, keep watching the news, keep um, following it. So don't just um, uh, be silent. I mean, don't just uh, shut down from it. It's important if you're in the um, if you're in the forex business, if you're in the financial business, you have to be, uh, be open to some of this news because it might, you don't want to be taken unawares. Don't want things to hit you uh, by surprise. Remember the 2008 um, crash. You don't want. There will be things that will be leading to to it. Some people were were run, were lose lost their entire life savings. Up. Some people lost their lives even. You know, there were other people that actually made a lot of money from the crash of that 2008. So it's just having knowing who has the right information, who has money, and all of those kind of things that will really benefit from that crash. So we just have to be careful. I mean, have to open up, open up our eyes, read the news, and just listen, open our ears as well, and just be on the know keep your ears down just know what is happening you're here you have to find out click news read things go on youtube you know don't just be con concerned about the now the things that you're doing in your circle shoot out open up yourself to you know get information like they say information is power you know so yep i'm just gonna stop talking so we can go straight to the charts for charts for this week um so i was expecting aud um, USD to uh, play that inverted head and shoulder. It hasn't um, failed yet. It's still within um, um, the zone. So let's just keep believing. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not taking. I'm not selling anything right now. If I want to do anything at all, I would say that put a buy limit here so that we can get an early entry. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can see it. Remember how I trade my. Um, 
how I treat my inverter head and shoulder, head and shoulder. There must be um, impulse. Either the impulse, if you're doing head and shoulder, the impulse has to be like this. If you're doing the inverted, then the impulse has to be like that, as you can see it. So that's the impulse. You can see the um, left shoulder, you can see the head. So this is possibly the, I thought this was going to be the right shoulder, then the bounce would happen, but I uh, guess that, that is not it. So maybe this might come all the way to this level possibly push a little bit like it normal, normally does before pushing to the upside. So if you if you want to enter early, you might get an early entry at this level, get an early entry, put a buy limit at that level, and then you can get an early entry, you know, but um, if not, then wait for this to break, possibly above this level on the retest or maybe above the level on the retest. But either way, I believe I'm expecting AUD USD to push up. I'm not really looking to sell it right now. So even if it does this, comes back and I wouldn't, the only other thing I would do, if it comes back here and then I will definitely have my stop loss. I'm pretty sure it's going to kick me if I have my stop loss then then my next buy be at this level. I'm looking forward to buying and the lower it goes, the more opportunity, the better the opportunity to actually buy and win. You get greater um, win for that pair. So this is it. Comes here. If it fails, I know it's coming back here. Then I'm going to put my buy limit there expecting it to bounce up. Yep. Get what I mean? But I'm more particular about the buy, uh, the buy side, not the downside. Okay. So that's AUD USD. Um, okay. Let's check this out. AUD Swiss franc you can see. I think the AUD pairs just have the same um, thing happening. So you can see the impulse coming down. You can see the left shoulder head, right shoulder playing now. So maybe this might come. Let me um, create um, I'll create a line here. I might see something around. Maybe here, who knows? So even here. So either way, either way, that um, that's some level to look for trade. Let me take this up a bit. Yeah. So maybe that level might be because of that touch, the touch, the touch, the touch. So we're expecting a trade from that level. So, yep. Let me. So that comes in there, and then we look for a trade to push to the upside. Yep. So that's your that's your trade right there. And wait for that to come into that level and then then you know, continue like that till you get get it to the top so but i'm i'm more particular about the inverter head and shoulder or for guys you can also find out excuse me no inverter head and shoulders placed in different different from can go this way it can go this way or it can it can go straight depending on where the neckline how it plays out so this might be it for that to happen yep so that may be the move but either way best place to enter just get your buy limit in this zone anyway could be this line or this one whichever place it gets to if it comes that if you decide to just jump in in the market then you can do that but your buy ups uh, um, stop loss possibly be below here or any place you choose for that matter okay so that's another inverter head and shoulder possibly playing out Another one here as well. I hope I should have cleared this out. So that's another one. See, impulse, left head, left shoulder playing out again. So I'm waiting for um, this to come into that level to take us out, or possibly we could see that again, like we did the other one. That may come down, or even that might actually be it. So it may still come down a bit before pushing, but either way, I will be looking for my entry, not even at that level. My entries, I'll be looking for my own entries at this level. It's it's a clearer level for me than this one's here, because I don't even have any line drawn out there. So, yep. Okay, that's the same one, AUD. So these three, I think, yeah, this, this is different. So these three have some similar um but uh one thing i wanted to say we just have to be careful about the yen and the usd pair i mean sorry yeah the usd um basically because of the war that is happening you know anything can happen and i think i heard that um, china is manipulating the um manipulating currencies so you understand what i mean so we just need to be careful if you're trading i think we have a lot of um we have a lot of um 
what's it called? Um, new, the USD news, one, two, three, a lot of USD news releases this week. So that's why, that's why we have to uh, be careful just in case they decide to, I don't know, manipulate anything. No, we wouldn't be caught in the, in the mix. Yep, always use the stop loss as you trade. So the next one is AUD Swiss franc. Remember that one? The one we're looking for inverter head and shoulder to play out this inverter head and shoulder. This one, uh, let me see if I can get it back. That, that, and we wanted that to play out, but it kind of wasted so much time. Yeah, but then it's still a good one because as you guys can see, this has not failed. Remember the rule for inverter head and shoulder. The left shoulder must not uh, must not close below the head. So, yep, you can see this is where the left shoulder is. This is it. Mm -hmm. So it's still. Uh, I wanted it to. Uh, okay, so that's the left shoulder. If it if this body if it closed below here, if it closed below here, then that would have rendered this invalid if it closed below this level. If let's say this was a body instead of the week, then that would have rendered this invalid. Remember that thing I shared with us, trading for a living and also the naked forex. Those are the rules. Uh, and you know me, that's what I trade, naked forex. So if it closed below here, then that would have been an invalid head and shoulder or in fact a head and shoulder. But because it didn't, so it's still a valid one. So who knows, this might come down again to just continue to the upside. But more, I'm still very biased about AUD and ZD playing to the upside. I've been waiting for it for like forever. See, this is what we've been getting. And it's been playing out, except um, it, it, at one point, it gave us that buy up to this point. We thought it was going to break up and then push, but no, reject that and say, I comment that, but it's fine. I just keep allowing it to go. Some people might say, I'm just going to wait for it to break into that level. That's why you have all of those levels. Then let it break into it. You can't enter at this point. There's, there's nothing to trade. Let it come into that level. Then you can take another one. You no, know, take that level uh, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, but if you want to pick, it comes here and you want to TP here. It's absolutely fine. Then you wait till it comes again. Then you would take another one. As it um, as it um, plays out. Now, one thing I wanted to share with us is that if it's critical, you know how you enter a trade. Don't just jump into a trade. Let's say, um, let's look at this on the daily. Um, like this trade right here. Let me see if I can find something else. Okay, so it comes in here. Maybe for the first time, it came into that level. Yep. The mindset would be you don't enter at that level. You know, you wait for some form of confirmation. Remember what I always say, either an inverter head and shoulder or a double bottom. If it's down, if it's the other way, then a head and shoulder or a double top. Or you find um, a, bear, a bullish engulfing can do and then that pushes to the upside. Any one of the three or any other thing that you find or even uh, an ammonic pattern at that level, that's the low before you can look for a trade. You don't just jump in because you see, you know, because you see, um, what was it called? Uh, um, it, uh, price has gotten down there, so you just jump in. Yeah, sometimes it might go up and then come back down. You know, so like for instance, look at what, what happened here. We saw, um, we saw that rejection, good confirmation to tell us that, ah, this is rejecting the downside, possibly gonna be pushing up. And then we saw a bullish engulfing play out. Yep, another confirmation for us to see, okay, it might, it might be going up. And after that, we saw a pullback. I remember how I trade my uh, bullish confirmation and then a pullback is when I jump in, at, jump in on the trade. Yep, that's it. That's how I jump in. If I just want to jump in. But you can just decide, okay, I'm going to drop down more to the smaller time frame to find more reasons for me to jump in. You know, so some people, again, you might find, because of what you saw here, that pullback, you can say, okay, I'm going to jump in at this level. You know, it wouldn't be too bad if, uh, it, uh, or was a, a strategy to jump in at that level because as you see an engulfing candle, you see a pullback. But then you almost have to make sure you find, keep your stop loss below, 
you know, just in case. Then if you say, if you're the one that would say, okay, I'm going to drop down to my smaller time frame, then look for more confirmations. And this will be your confirmation. You have your inverter head and shoulder playing out. You might say, okay, for you to obey the rules of inverter head and shoulder, I'm just going to wait for you to break that level coming to it, then I can take it. Yep, or you're going to say that I'm going to wait to find a good entry so I can get an early entry, possibly come down to that level. You know, even jumping at that level, but you know that my stop loss is below. Yep, if you say previous low, this will be the previous low. Yep, or even might even say, okay, I'm just going to push. If I have a little bit more, more money, more um, money in my account, I'm going to push the previous low to be at this level. Because this, for me, just tells me price is going to keep going up. I'm not really looking to sell this. Okay, so that, I just wanted to just throw that in so you know how to enter your trades. I know we have videos on that, you know, how you enter these trades. But yeah, I just wanted to just put, give us as a reminder. Okay, so the next one is NZD USD. See, if you guys remember what I was saying, that I was expecting this to come all the way into that level, possibly come as low as that level and then push up. Uh, yes, it came in, but it didn't come into that level like I expected, pushed up and then came back and gave a double bottom and then just kept going. You know, so when it was coming last week, I did say that I'm waiting, that there were things things to expect, that I would expect that to come into that level again because it's been there and then push up. But if it doesn't push up, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to push down into this level. You know, I did say so last week. I hope I, uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to push that low. In fact, that was too, uh, if I had, um, I think I I didn't enter, I can't remember if I entered here or my my position was, um, I can't remember what, what uh, how that, um, how that trade played out, you know. So, but basically it came in and pushed below, you know, I think they were just trying to clear every stop loss. Let me see how many pips below it went before it started moving to the upside. Yeah, it went about um, 40 pips. So I can't remember how I did, uh, what uh, where I was. I think I either I entered after it played out or I was there and then my stop loss was way below. I can't remember, but then I know I'm in this trade, but it pushed, it kind of, kind of pushed a bit uh, lower than we expect. But that's not a problem because we're looking for it to come back up. Well, that's what I just wanted to share with us today. So I'm looking for this to push back to the upside. So this would, um, I expected this to break up, but it kind of um, push back in a little bit. But it's fine. You wouldn't have a reason to be in this trade if you're not already in it. So the place for you to look for a trade, this is your sell level, this level, um, possibly this level. And then if you want to keep following it like that. So uh, I was expecting this to play out in terms of um, an inverter head and shoulder. So that one complete the head and then this is uh, the um, neckline and then we'll continue. But since I don't think this is going to be an inverter head and shoulder, but it hasn't shown sign of it not being an inverter head and shoulder yet, this might still be a head, you know. So for you to look for a trade, your trade will be for, allow you to, for you to allow this to come into that level. Then this, your, this is your sell. Yep, that is your sell. So next point of sale, if this doesn't create another thing here, then this is your next point of sale here. Yep, and then you continue like that, like that, like that. Yep, so you already have the levels created by yourself. So you just have that those levels created and then let it um, do its thing. Okay, so US, Euro, Swiss franc, this one, I expect this one, I expected this one to come all the way down here. Yeah, but it turned, it hasn't, well, it hasn't finished moving. I wanted it to come here so we can look for another trade to the upside. Yep, that was what we're expecting. I am not waiting, for, I'm not looking for this to break. But if it does break, then you already see the levels has been created. Yep, you see, that's one of, one of the things that tell us that when we say that um, when there is a gap in the market, it always feels, not every time. Look at that gap. That we have here was never filled. The gap was never filled, and price just kept going up. You know, so it's not every time there is a gap in the market that it has to be filled. Example, this one. So, yep. So that may happen. Price may come into that level and then bounce to the upside again, or it may break that level and possibly trying to fill that gap that I didn't feel from how many years ago. So bring that to the downside. Then we can now start seeing the push to the upside. So this one, you can put, um, what you can do is let your buy limit be here. Yep, let your buy limit be there. And then your stop loss, possibly previous loop, maybe could be there. 
you know, and then look for buy. But if that fails, it's going to kick you out and then let it go or you find your an entry based on what price. I don't know what price is going to paint here. It hasn't painted yet. So based on what price paints there, then you can find an entry that will take you down here. But the main trade I'm looking for is the up trade. Either this one or this one. Are the two main trades I'm looking for possible trades. But let's see down the daily on the um daily or h4. So it's the same thing. Yep, nothing, nothing new. So see that happen. It dropped, that dropped. So maybe playing out again, the same thing, maybe playing out for you to drop again. Yep, so but and then bounce. Or may just come keep coming down. To where we talked about and then before it bounces so yeah but we're going to play with it as it uh, as it paints as market paints and we're just going to keep looking at it as well so euro aussie remember this one as well my um actually thought it was going to um reverse at that level man this was some some giant push to that upside you see if you can see, if you look at it from the month, you can see that this was a level that has not been broken since when? 2015. It hasn't broken that level. Came there um, in 2007. Okay, came there in 2019, January. You know, came down. But, and now it's back to that level. Broke it, but then it didn't close above. So that tells me that it might it has a, it will definitely be coming down. And because if you look at that um, giant rejection, <laughs> it's enough to convince anybody. And look at what we trade, um, um, engulfing can do. You can see it for yourself. Bearish engulfing can. You can already see the pullback happening. I did say this was going to go here and then drop, but yeah, yeah, it went there but pushed to the upside and now it's um, dropping. So you see uh, bearish engulfing, see the pullback happening. So this is a trade right now. So let's see if we can find an entry. So yeah, like I said, some people may jump in on that um, bearish engulfing pullback. Yep, and some people will say, okay, let's drop to the smaller time frame. See more confirmation. As you can see, another confirmation will be that it had and showed a playing out. So that may be your trade right there, allowing this to go into that level and then taking you down. Yeah, so if you want to set a buy limit at that level, uh, let me take this out of the way. So the buy limit at that level and then possibly stop loss here or here, depending on how, remember this is also an expensive pair to trade, but if you also catch it, good, 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 good um, position, good, good, good um, winning. Um, so, I find your entry there, then it take you to the downside, or you let it do its thing. You know, some people that enter here, they always look for the early entry. Let it, let it do its thing and then come down to that level that you can find your trade. Yep. Okay, that's um, Euro Aussie, Euro Swiss franc. Same principle. I, I initially thought, okay, this is a strong level. This was a um, false breakout. That price is going to stop, come to that level, and then yes, it happened as you can see. It got to that level and dropped how many pips? Let me see. As we thought, it dropped um, more than 100 pips, 110 pips, you know, and before pushing to the upside. So it wasn't so bad. Left. It's a good level that we identified because you saw price reacting around them. So, see, and we identified a few months back so right now price broke that broke every high as well the same thing okay i think it didn't break, break this high, high but then give a massive rejection as you can see it. strong rejection you know so that's that's telling me that okay i should expect price to continue to the downside yep that's in the theory so i will expect price to continue to the downside uh, so i'm just gonna see what is what is here hasn't shown me anything. There's nothing for me to know about, no head and shoulder. But this, um, this I was expecting this to just be the move for that to come down and then keep going. But it's now pulling back up. But it's not a problem. If I don't get anything to trade, I don't have any reason to trade it. So maybe I would say, let this one, let it come back. If it comes back to the top, you can find your trade there. Or let this come back. Because if... The move, it might actually be coming, wanting to continue to the upside. So I would say, let it be, let it come, possibly come back down, you know, or even break this level. The whole idea of whatever we're trading is to find price at a good place to trade, not just jump in, just, just find a good place that price, you know, if good reason to sell, I mean, or to sell or to buy. Like now, 
to buy this one i wouldn't i would only buy if for instance if it breaks above where it's already broken above you know i wouldn't say okay let's just buy at this level that is going to keep going up no because it can come um it will, might buy and it gets to this level and then it breaks all right so let's look for good levels to look for our buys uh, our sales i'm not buying anyone i'm looking for a sell possibly at this level yep maybe that head and shoulder will finally play, play out or to even give me more assurance can let it come down to that level yep but basically i'm not really looking to buy this one at this time yeah but i know it's seeming like it's going back up but anything is possible we could just go as high as this level and drop or as high as this level and then drop given the fact that the euro um i'm expecting the euro to drop on the on this one yep yeah so i'm expecting the euro to drop on this too so this might actually have the same effect what about euro card um if you notice guys i remember saying that this one i expected it to bound, break retest and then drop yes kind of broke um it didn't retest and then it, it was dropping but i wasn't um i wasn't in it until look at what happened price broke came back into that level and then threw in a pin bar same thing as we've been seeing all over the place here you know let me see if i can find um yep same thing has been been rejections that has been happening you see all of the um okay i think this one is a bit different okay okay this one was different yep so same thing happening uh, another rejection so now i'm expecting this to continue down it's already given us that um remember what i said about um um engulfing can do it's only already given us our bearish engulfing with a pullback kicker so that means that okay this is ready to continue to the downside so that's that trade so this one you already know so i'm taking it down to that level let's see if it's how far it may go um yep so if now that breaks that level this is the tp first tp so if that breaks this is the next one if that breaks this is the next one you can see that's why i have all of those levels identified so but i'm not looking i'm not looking to um buy this market at all um, leave me out of the buys because just look at that rejection i'm not looking to buy it yep so that's euro card euro card gu gu as you guys can see i uh, i don't know how many people can see this um i i as, as i did see so i don't know how many weeks ago or how many days ago or was it just last um i think it was just last week or there about yep i was saying that i'm expecting this to break that level but if it, if it comes down to that level i'm going to expect a retest for the and then for it to continue to the downside i wanted it to say okay i said also that if it breaks to the top we're going to look for um entry to take us to the top but oh, that one failed broke to the top retested but failed kept doing the same thing um broke out um went up it just kept doing the same thing but when it came down eventually can clearly see it broke out retested and then continued to the downside so that was how many pips about 50 pips yep 55 pips so that was a good um, trade for anyone that took it so for this one now I'm just gonna let it come all the way down here then i can look for a buy back to the upside it's the, this buy is long <laughs> really been waiting for this buy to happen but it's just been failing but it needs to happen so I'm not looking, I'm not, um, for now, this one, if you're, if you're in it, fantastic for you, but my own trade will be here. I'm going to look for buy at this level. Let me see what is happening on the um, higher time frame. There's a reason to worry. Okay, there's no, can see, level, level. So it's going back there. Is there any other thing, any other level? Yep. I don't have any reason for me to start worrying about this thing breaking and continuing to the downside. If it breaks, then that will be like, it's because it's not broken that level for how long? Came there last, came there in 2016. Last time it was there is 2017, two years ago, March. So now this is 2019. So who knows? It may just break all of the lows that it's had, ever had. And then continue to the downside based on all the data that we have this is the lowest it's been to and it's going back there so if it breaks that 
well, there's nothing. I don't have any data. I know there might be data in um, trading view. Who knows? But well, I don't think uh, there's no data on this side for me to look for um, a bottom again. So I'm just gonna keep watching it. But I'm more I'm more biased towards the upside. I'm more biased towards this coming that low and then pushing up. Yep, coming that low. Let me get my marker. Coming that low and then pushing up. Yep. So I'm gonna put a buy limit at that level. Then stop loss. Yeah, control my own stop loss. It's always good when you're in this kind of situation because you can control your own stop loss. You know. Okay. Um. G A. Remember, I said I was in this one. Good entry. Now it's coming down. Uh, if you're not already in it, there's no reason to jump in. You just have to let this one go. So maybe if it comes back to that level, comes back to that level that we created, remember? We're expecting this to come and then continue down. That's all we're expecting. If that doesn't happen, then it's probably going to bounce off at that, um, like it's been doing here. You know, yeah, they kind of came down there, bounced and pushed up to the upside. Then what did you see? Rejected and started coming down. So, and I found an entry there. Um, then pin bathroom, massive rejection. So it's coming down. So my TP would be this level. My TP would be this level. You know, same level it's been before. So either um, that 1.76, 130 or that trend line that I created. You know that one that we looked at on the higher time frame. So let's let that just come, so we can find another entry. You know, maybe a buy from here now, if at all. Now that also depends on what the GBP is doing. So if every GBP decides to push up, then you know this is gonna going to push up as well. If they all decide to keep coming down, then you know that this is gonna keep coming down. I'm gonna try and see if we can um, take off a few, um, take off some some positions just to secure the bag. All right, um, GJ, same thing happening. Price, um, we saw that move. In fact, we expected that move to have started happening from here. Yeah, they pushed a bit, did um, flag, dropped, flag, dropped, flag, dropped, flag, dropped. So we've been doing the same thing. So we're expecting that flag to take us all the way down here. And that's what we're seeing has been happening, it's been dropping. So this is where we might be looking for another entry, sorry, um, a new position, a reversal. So let this come down here again. So just like every other GBP pairs, if they all decide to go up, then definitely this is gonna go. If they decide to come down, then you know that this is gonna break and then we're gonna look for a retest to continue to the downside. But that would definitely keep us posted when they occur. Um, I think this might be my final one. Let me see if I'm gonna look. Nah, I'm not gonna look for this. Look at this one. Let me just keep this short. Yep, look at this guy again. 2008 high, 18 high it was broken. I pushed all the way down up to this level. In fact, I actually expected this to stop moving up, but um, yep, as you can see, it's still going. But it's all good. That's as a result of the GBP pairs as well. So this may, this might be what we might actually see if we expect the GBP pairs to continue pushing down. Then we might actually see this rejection, and then that that continue to the upside. So this might be our TP here. Yep. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but if not, if the GBP pairs decide to go up, then you know that this is definitely going to come down, and then we can see our win you know um this if this happens it's gonna be really massive you know uh let's see from here it comes down that's over two thousand pairs two thousand pips two thousand three hundred pips yeah but uh let's see what happens let's see what happens i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep posting the um the um the charts as they occur you know so this might actually be a double double top laying out who knows you know but i wouldn't really i wouldn't decide to take it just yet. I need to let see some other thing, maybe another double top here or inverter head and shoulder or something. I can just take a trade based on that one, you know, information here. Anything is possible. Let me just see this. Yeah, yeah, anything. Okay, all right, guys, I'm gonna stop here. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Have a fantastic trading week. God bless, bye-bye.